Hey guys, welcome to our tour video. We've been wanting to show you kind of where we've been staying for these last two months in Bansko, Bulgaria. And as you can see here now, we're at the Four Leaf Clover. This is a co-living and a co-working space. And uh, it's a pretty great place. We've really enjoyed our time here. And so we thought we'd just kind of show you what it's like, uh, the grounds, as well as what our $230 a, a month apartment looks like. So as digital nomads, you're probably first wondering, what does the co-working space look like here? And I will show you. So they've got like these key fobs. I've got mine in my wallet, but. Okay, so first off, the co-working space, as you can see, it's not a real big co-working space. Um, but it's really cozy, it's really nice. It's mostly used by the members of the community, of the people that are staying here at the Fort Leaf Clover. So as you can see, there's actually quite, there's quite a few desks, as well as like extra monitors, although there's a few less today. <laughs> um, and there's also like this little kitchen area, which is nice too. There's a lot of times They'll do like little barbecues. In fact, we're having one later tonight, um, which is outside in the little patio area. Um, but it's great because you can just grab whatever you need. We've got coffee, which is not my thing, but Michelle has been using this machine all the time. And that's all part of like the access. So another thing is that they actually have like this little kitchen area, which is nice. There's even like a microwave and panini makers and free water refrigerator so it's kind of cool there's at least a place you can like keep some snacks and stuff while you're working and then also over here we have there's actually two skype rooms um and we'll go and show you those look like so the first room is this one here and this is the largest room um but it's nice like if you whether you want to take calls or not or just like a more quiet area to work from you can and you can just sign up on the door so there's no like additional charge or anything. You just sign up for a time slot and you can come in here for, most people usually do bring here for like an hour or two. Um, and then the other one over here, this one's a little bit smaller, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> so there's other one here as well. Um, but yeah, they've got nice light and it's at least more quiet areas if you need to kind of get away from the rest of it. So it's really quiet in here today because it's a Sunday, um, but usually it doesn't get like too crazy busy or too well. It can get a little bit busier with, depending on how many people in the community are, you know, active. Um, but it's never like usually like really loud, which is really like. Um, additionally, they um, just recently got a projector too, which was pretty cool. We got to watch some of the trips that people do, some of the community trips that have been done. We got to watch back all of the pictures and everything from that. And when they do like the barbecues and stuff, there's also like this little outdoor area as well, where they do all the grilling, as well as more places that you can work from too, which is pretty nice because both out here and on the front of the building is a really lovely place to work from because uh, the Wi-Fi is really strong here. And in fact, I think I was getting on average over 50 megs up and down the whole time that we've worked here, which is pretty cool. So now we're going to take you on to show you the rest of the grounds and then take you over to the building that we're staying in. So for some of the community members, there's actually a parking lot, so you can actually park your car, like, which is more common, of course, for people that are from like the UK or other parts of Europe. Um, there's parking here and there's also parking along um, the back of the road here as well. And then we also have, in the between all the buildings, you can see there's a pool, this big white structure. So also next to the pool is this, obviously a sun lounge deck, um, which we also doubled as a yoga studio for us <laughs> while we were here. One of the community members that was here during the summer, Art, was kind enough to lead some yoga sessions. And so we use it for that. But let's also go and I'll show you what the pool looks like. And so here's the pool, and it's actually nice and warm in here. And this pool always stays warm during the, uh, it's heated, 
so it stays warm and uh, it's a lot of fun if you just want to like, splash around and relax. And then in the, the hotter days, they'll open up this whole thing, it opens up so you can get like all the extra sun you want. Mm -hmm. Another thing that they have here is the Relax Center, which is down here. And we won't go down there, but basically there's a sauna, there's a hot tub, um, and it's like some tables and stuff for people who can get like massages and things like that. It hasn't been open while we've been here during the summer, because again, the summer is a slow season here in Bosco. Um, but from what I understand, it actually is open during the winter time when there's like so many more people in town and in the community. Okay, so now we're gonna take you in to the building that we're staying in. We're actually in building C, which is right behind me. Um, but we'll take you in, I'll show you what our place looks like. Come on. So as you can see, there's an elevator, which is nice. It's actually a little bit small, which is very common we found um, in the places that we've been in Bulgaria. But it's perfect if you're, well, we used it looking up all our luggage because that was not a fun task because we're on the third floor, so. Um, but otherwise, we just like to take the stairs because we get a lot of exercise here in Bosco. Welcome to our home, our home for the last two and a half months. And as you can see, um, it's not too bad. It's a, we got a decent amount of room in here. This is a Studio Plus, and basically we have our kitchenette as well as our living area. So as far as the cost is concerned, it's been $230, 230 euros um, for our stay here uh, per month. And then we've also paid for electricity in addition to that. Now in the summer months, electricity is like, it's basically nothing. Um, I think we paid, I think 17 love for the first month and our second month was about 50 love. So it's been basically, I don't know, between seven and $25. So which is pretty reasonable. So one thing to note, if you're here in the winter time, you can definitely expect to have much higher electricity bills uh, because basically you have just these like wall heaters and stuff like that, and it's, it's all electric here. And from, and especially considering that this year in particular, there is a lot of extra, high, you know, with the inflation and all of the gas prices and stuff like that going up, it's causing those electricity bills to, to go through the roof. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and continue the tour. Um, as you can see, we got more than enough like room to like, cook and do all of that which is something that we honestly haven't done a lot of and that's mostly because our time here in Bosco like I mean the restaurants are super inexpensive especially considering like a, a US something you'd expect in the US like compared to those prices like, it's it's like a third of the cost uh, so we really haven't done a whole lot of cooking it's mostly been like breakfast or you know the occasional meal here and there and maybe like lunches and stuff. But I mean, we have hot plates, we've got everything you need, a stove, um, all that. Another thing that's nice is that we also have a washer in our room as well. Now, there's not a lot of dryers here in Bosco. So if you're used to that, if you're watching this from America, we will show you how we dry clothes later, which is probably the way your, your grandparents did. <laughs> but this is pretty nice. We have this couch here, which has been cool too. This is actually pretty comfy and of course it does fold out too so if you were having if you're just here for maybe a shorter period of time and you have another travel partner with you you guys can easily you know fit four people in here no problem and what's also nice is that we have a little bit larger refrigerator too which makes it easier especially as you're going to be somewhere for a longer period of time you can actually buy those breakfast foods and things like that which is kind of what we like to do now, as you come into the rest of the area, you know we have plenty of wardrobe, dressers, all that kind of stuff. Um, See, so we're getting ready to leave because we leave tomorrow, the last day. So we're trying to get all of our stuff packed for our trip. Um, but also, there's bathroom. I'll show you what the bathroom looks like. normal bathroom <laughs> and then of course we've got like 
this unit that we're in has a queen size bed. We were in another unit as well, and that one actually had a much bigger bed and a king. Um, but the beds have been fine, they've been comfortable, and you know, we've got all this nice stuff. We get plenty of light in here too, which is really nice, especially in the unit we're in. We're in a south facing unit, which honestly is one of the better units as far as like the view, which you'll see in just a moment. But we also have like a nice television, which does have cable, um, but we mostly use it for streaming or for editing. I use it as a monitor when I edit, so it's been nice that we have this like, little space there too. And now if we come outside, we'll show you the best part about this place. All right. So as you can see, the view is absolutely amazing. This is the Pyrrhon Mountains over here. And just on the other side of these mountains is actually like Greece over there and then Macedonia over there. So it has been such a pleasure to wake up and come out here and have to see this. And also the field out here, we're surrounded by like a, a farm. And so there's all these like goats and, and cows and sheep. And so like almost like clockwork, like either every morning or every evening, you can hear the little bells ringing and they'll come through here and just like wander around and eat the grass and stuff. So it's for us more city slickers, I guess it's a, it's, it's a treat. But as you can also see, we dry our clothes uh, very ecologically. No electricity required. Uh, it's all solar powered, which is pretty nice. So don't mind our underwear, but <laughs> well, that's it. I think we're going to um, go inside and we're going to sit down and just go over a couple other things about our time here in Bonsco, especially as digital nomads. So we'll go back in and do that. Hey, so now in this part of the video, we just wanted to talk a little bit about our time here in Bonsco, um, especially as digital nomads and just kind of provide you some information about that. But before we get into that, just want to ask real quick, if you enjoying this video, if you're getting anything out of it, give us a like, um, or even subscribe for follow us around for more. Uh, you can also check out our website, wineringhearts.com. We've got lots more travel articles written about places that we've actually been to and experienced. And of course you can use some of our affiliate links if you like, we appreciate it. It doesn't cost anything and it definitely helps us out. That's how we as travel bloggers basically earn a living. Um, or you can buy us a glass of wine if you like, which we also appreciate. So cheers. <laughs> yes. We just wanted to kind of talk about our lifestyle here in Bosco, Bulgaria as digital nomads. Um, it's, we've had a great stay. I mean, I'm getting kind of like sad I know. about leaving. We were talking about that the other day. Um, it's actually been way more surprising than we thought just how like how good it's been for us and how yeah. easy it was to transition uh, here from the United States. Yeah. Yeah. Cause we came directly over here. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know if you saw our other video, our first impressions video, we talked a little bit more about that. Yeah. We came here for the Nomad Fest and knowing that we would stick around for the summer. Um, but yeah, it was really easy. It was great. It's been much needed for us because it's given us an opportunity to actually have a fairly good work life balance, mm -hmm. which I have to say like the last year, year and a half, we haven't had very much of a very, a very good work life balance. So yeah. this has been nice because we've been able to actually have an, you know, experience, meet other people, like-minded people, mm -hmm. other nomads and expats. And yeah. there's a really great community here. Yeah. Uh, that's already set up. Um, which is nice so you don't really you can just kind of come and you know get immersed in in the community and meet friends um probably by signing up for the co-working there's multiple co-workings here mm -hmm. spaces that you can sign up for all of them do events um, barbecues dinners get togethers hiking so there's all kinds of things that you can get involved in yeah and like even here at four week clover like we've enjoyed that too um, they're not as big of a co-work as some of the other ones in town, uh, but all of the people in this in this co-work generally live in the community too. So it's been a really wonderful way for us to meet like some other people mm -hmm. and uh, and also go on like little adventures and stuff too. 
One thing that we really liked about Mansfield is uh, just the, the cost of living here is way, way cheaper and much more reasonable um, than what we've been used to. We've been kind of traveling around the United States for the last two years, been living in Florida, um, Wisconsin, Seattle, Arizona, like yeah. all over. Yeah. yeah, all over the place. And uh, yeah, it's about a third of the cost, I would say, of uh, wine. Um, beer, any kind of drinks are all going to run you probably about two to, to four dollars. Mm -hmm. And then as far as meals, um, I mean, breakfast can be oh, uh, as cheap as like two or three dollars. Or, or less if you just get a croissant. 50 yeah, cents. yeah, yeah. Or if you get pastries like we yeah. like to do. Yeah, there's, they're like 50 to, I don't know, 80 cents. And then for dinner, usually what we found for the two of us, we usually get a glass of wine or a beer and then have a main meal and then sometimes an appetizer or a salad. And it's usually about 15, 15 to $20, kind of how much you, yeah. depending on how much you order. And that's for, that's for both of us. Yeah. And that includes tax as well. Yeah. And so we're going to actually do a full breakdown on cost of living for our time here. Uh, and that'll be in another video. And finally, another really wonderful thing here is, uh, especially, Staying at Four Leaf Clover has been really nice because, again, the community is really wonderful. Really wonderful people we've met here. Um, and it's nice because if you just want to, like, if it's raining out and you just want to ride up to the, you know, to the gondola area or whatever to meet some friends, you just hop on the WhatsApp chat group, you know, and then there's always bound, someone's bound to, like, split a taxi with you or whatever. So, or just if you're looking for something to do, it's really easy just to, like, find something to do. It's been really great and it's very welcoming. So another reason we recommend, you know, popping in here and staying here for a little bit. All right, so I hope that gives you kind of a little bit of idea of what Bonsco is like, especially for digital nomads. And uh, yeah, we'll, like we said, we'll have more videos out about Bulgaria, a couple uh, videos of our experiences and also on our website as well at wanderinghearts.com. Um, all of that will be in the description below. Make sure like and subscribe. And if you've been to Bulgaria or been to Bonsko, let us know uh, some of your favorite things because we will probably be back here next year. Highly likely. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks to everybody for watching and uh, we'll see you later. Happy right. wandering. Happy wandering.